A small observation from our daily work with clients. Most companies have a lot of ideas. Having ideas is not the problem. The problem is how companies deal with ideas. Nowadays, everyone wants to be innovative in order to survive. You want to throw out innovations on the market and stay ahead of the competition. Some companies want even more than that. They want to conquer new markets. Now, when you analyze where innovation comes from, you almost always end up with a so-called innovation funnel inside a company. The funnel shows one thing. For every truly innovative product or service you bring on the market, there are a couple of thousand ideas that have been discussed before. And a lot of those ideas turn into projects that would consume a lot of resources along the way. Research shows that on average and across all industries, every innovation can be seen as the result of at least two product releases. So half of all releases do not work out. And for two releases to even happen, you can find 10 fully developed projects. That means eight out of 10 developed products never find their way into market. For every 10 fully developed projects, you can find 100 projects the company started at some point. So 90% of all projects that exploit resources never make it to full development. What does this tell us? The important truth, no matter how good your team is, no matter how smart the ideas look that you started to work on, it is very unlikely that most ideas will ever go to market. Now, we cannot predict the future. We cannot simply work on one idea and bet everything on it. But what we can do is to manage the way we deal with early ideas. The innovation funnel shows that too many half-baked ideas become projects without a customer check first. That means companies do not test and validate most of their ideas before committing to them. Any idea that becomes a project will eventually end up consuming a lot of time, money and effort. Therefore, it is important that the idea is based on real customer observations that indicate the idea's value for a customer. This observation is what we call an insight. Insights matter. In fact, they matter much more than the idea that you came up with. Ideas can change during a project, but the insight needs to be compelling and valid. It is the foundation for a successful innovation project.